Happy early Valentine's Day, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in once again. So I decided the look that I'm gonna be doing today is a little bit more of a glammy Valentine's Day look. My Valentine's Day is gonna be spent inside, probably watching The Walking Dead in bed comes back so this will not be my Valentine's Day look my Valentine's Day look will probably be crusty eyes and dry skin but it's all good so thank you guys so much keep watching and hope you enjoy the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep and prime my eyelids since this is more of a heavier eyeshadow look For my base color today, I'm going to be blending two of my favorite base colors that I like to use on a daily basis. And the first one's going to be Buck from the first Naked Palette. I no joke think I've had this for about seven years now. Look at how disgusting it is. But I still got some goods in there, so I'm going to milk it for all it's got. I'm going to be going through with my Urban Outfitters palette too, and I'm going to be using my everyday colors I use from there. As you can see. Now you're gonna look something kind of like a raccoon, but it's all good. So I'm gonna go through again with my Urban Outfitters palette, and I'm gonna be using this gold little colors. I guess I'm gonna be using a bunch of colors. So I'm gonna be using kind of this top row of gold. I'm gonna be taking a lot of that gold color and kind of putting it all over my lid. The right ones. That is done. I'm gonna take my blending brush and just kind of smoke it out a little. Like that. Once I am done with that, I'm gonna go through with a lot lighter color and just go right underneath my eyebrows just to make sure that that arc pops. Now we are going on to the fun part of things. So I'm going to be using this Naked Cosmetics Loose Powder. The really cool thing about these is that you could use them dry and you could use them wet as well. Goldish, it's a little orangey, but I would consider it more gold. I'm going to be using my Maria Badescu Rose Water Spray, which I actually used in my favorites video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And I'm going to be spraying a little bit of this onto my hand. I'd show you, but I dropped all the powder. So I actually sprayed a little bit more than I needed. I'm gonna take my C brush from e.l.f. and I'm just gonna dip it forwards and backwards just to make sure that that brush gets really wet. Then I'm gonna take my brush and then dip it into the pot. And I'm gonna dip it into the lid to make sure I get all that excess gunky stuff off and then I'm gonna start going over my lid. I'm just gonna put my concealer on, bake my face, do a little bit of contouring, and then I'll be right back. Now, let's finish up this eye look. I'm gonna use this MAC eyeshadow. It's called Blonde Streak. It's actually a pressed pigment. I got this a while. Oh my God! I'm gonna go back with that C brush, and I'm just gonna kinda dip it into the powder and blot it over what is on my eyelids right now. So it may not come up in camera, but it's definitely coming up in person. It is very, very subtle, the color, but it gives it a little bit more of a shine. Sparkly shine. Eyelashes. I'm gonna stack my lashes and you'll see exactly why. Now since I just set in those lashes, I'm gonna let them dry for a second. As I'm waiting for them to dry, I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush Palette. So I'm gonna be mixing together this brown color and tan color right in the middle. And I'm gonna kinda go on my cheeks and my forehead and underneath my jawline. Sparkly, glowy, ah, oh, love you, it's Valentine's Day blush. I'm gonna be using the NARS New Order blush. This is such a cool blush. So 
So now we're gonna be moving on back to the eyes. I'm gonna be taking the Naked Cosmetics Loose Pigment again. This color says it's Sierra Nevada, but I doubt that there's two colors in a collection that are both named the same thing, or they just really like the name Sierra, which So I'm gonna be going underneath my eyes, but I'm not gonna be going fully across, and you'll see why in a second. Reason why I left a little bit open in the center is because I'm gonna be going back with that first Sierra Nevada color and putting in right in the middle. Now I'm gonna be using my go-to mascara I've been using for a little over a month now, and it's the Marc Jacobs Mascara, and it's called the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I got this as a Sephora Beauty Insider, points thing and I'm totally obsessed with it. I'm gonna be doing a bold red, which is so classic for Valentine's Day and so cheesy at the same time, but whatever, I love it, I don't care. I'm gonna be using the Jordana Cosmetics Sedona Red to line my lips. Now since I'm done lining my lips, I'm gonna go in with this Stila color, and this color is called Bisos. Biso, Bisos, Bisos, Biso. So, voila, here you go. This, it would be considered my Valentine, Valentine's Day look. It's me, Sierra Mama. Look, the lipstick is even kissable. You know what? Valentine's Day is all about love and about feeling good about yourself. And I don't care if you're going out with your boyfriend, your husband, your best friend, your dog, your cat. Doesn't matter. Valentine's Day is just another excuse to look fabulous as ever so I hope that you all go out make yourself fresh to death for Valentine's Day and I really hope that you guys try this look out love you I love you Cleo am I your Valentine I also have some very exciting news